Right, hello and good morning. It's quite early in the morning. It's still dark. It's flipping cold. The moon is up behind me. <coughs> and I'm heading towards Nottingham to meet Ian Morton at Nottingham Railway Station. And if you think, why isn't he coming to this railway station? Well, that was his decision, so I'm riding to Nottingham. Right, so I'll catch you in a bit. It is so cold and dark and spooky right now. I don't really know if you can see much of it. The moon is out, clear in the sky. There's just a little bit of cloud up there. Oh. <coughs> I don't know if you can see me at all, but... Yeah, I'm doing well, even though I've not gone very far. I'm going to try and get up on the hill up there possibly film a bit of a sunrise well the sun is starting to come up I want to get further up on the hill we should be able to see a lot better over there Right, I hope you can see me, all right? Right, I've been looking forward to this trip for quite some time. Actually, we not really planned it that long ago. But with me getting stressed out at work, it's just nice to have something to look forward to. I've got a rough idea where we're going down the Grantham Canal It's kind of unexpected what's going to happen and there is actually a muggle coming so I'm going to bring you back later Right, I've made it to Woolerton Park which is on the route I'm taking I'm glad the gate was open because I was worried it might not be open I have to find another way round I'm going to pass through the park I've got a bit of a hill to go up so I'll film a bit up that way I can actually see some deer over there they might run away if I could try and get closer. I don't know. I don't know, this class is like a deer pack. Yeah, they're trying to, they're running away. Or are they? It is so cold out here. I'm probably going to have to recharge the camera battery soon. It's probably the cold has made it go down a lot quicker. Right, I'm just heading up the Beeston Canal. I'm near the marina. You've seen this on previous videos. 
the sun is well and truly up and it's looking pretty nice even though it's still pretty damn cold I haven't got that far to get to the railway station so I need to get going I'll bring you back soon Right, we're just above the River Trent. Yeah, I'm out with him, he's putting extra clothing on because it is cold. There is a Nottingham Forest Stadium over there. Even this camera's getting like fog on it. Things are awkward. <laughs> really nice looking out here. It is. The sun is shining. And I've no idea what's ahead, but it'll be an adventure. Well, we just stopped at this lock, even though there's no like boats to use this canal anymore. There's like a lot where it's actually got gates on, a lot of the other ones haven't. Right, we're stopping for another break. You know, the countryside goes out for miles out there, it does. Yeah, as you know, we're still on the Grant from Canal. I do believe this is this road up here is at A1. Even as you see, there's also no water in this, but it looks like it could be filled up with water. We're going to have a bit of food. I'm going to get some kind of a bag to have to eat and bring you back later. Right, we're still along the Grantham Canal and it is very beautiful there's hills out there and there's woods there's a big wood over there where we might check out in the future yeah it's very pleasant Now what is this? Hicklin hat. Apparently there's not really much left of it.
Yeah, interesting. We're at a part of the canal that's got light water in it. It really is nice out here. Right off in the distance up there, I can see a, a wind turbine. We're enjoying this. It's a fantastic place. Perfect day. Yeah, if you if you don't do much at home, you need to get out and try something like this. Perfect Monday, really. We should do some shout outs. So. I'd like to say hi to the Black Country Woodsman, the Quiet Cyclist, Chris Scott, um, Hoodie Man's Bushcraft, if you ever get your internet back or whatever they've, whatever you've done, I don't know. Oh, we should say hi to DH Coll as well. Downhill Coll. Hey, dear mate. Yeah, I'm sure there's other people, but, you know. Hello to, like, everyone else. Yeah, it looks pretty flat out there, but there's hills right off in the distance. And we'll bring you back soon. Just um, wrecking for a possible campsite. Have you found anything good? Well, it's pretty overgrown, but well, if you want to be completely secure. It might be what we're getting a bike up here, don't we? But Yeah, but it's only like, is there a space for both of us? A look at that there. What's down there? Nice flat area. If we can get in there. Oh, there's, there's a massive farmer's field. Yeah. And this is an embankment. I should go. I don't really want to leave a bike to you know. See we can't get down there. How the hell did we get up here? Put it down here. Ah oh, shit. The fuck off. I'll have to cut that out now because I film. Hmm. Well, we can't really find anywhere to camp on it here. But there's some woods over that direction, but we're going to head for them. And we're going to visit a pub along the way to get a drink are. each. We're going to we're going to head towards. I don't know if we can see it very well. Uh, we're going to head to the anchor. 
pub. And then we're going to head to these woods. Yeah, there's a fairly large wood which we've sort of had a look at. Yeah. So that seems like a good enough plan. Mm. Yeah, it's very quiet out here. It's like, because I live in Elkis... I don't want to say where I live, even though I know some... I'll cut that out. I know some people know, but I don't know what you say it. Yes, it's very quiet round here. Where I live, there's like a lot of busy roads nearby, so you can always hear the road noise. Like, even at night, it's pretty loud, so... And here I can just hear like, I can hear like a little aeroplane up somewhere and slight wind noise and a few odd birds. And... Yeah, very tranquil. And there's a few clouds up there now, but the weather may possibly will get worse but we're prepared for that as always so we'll get off into this village now and hopefully there's like some a pub garden or something right I'll bring it back as soon as possible we found like a memorial thing Well, we're still going to go and see if a pub might be open, but we just don't know yet. Right, we're coming to the woods and we've basically found somewhere we can camp. But we also need to go and find some water. Yeah, it's pretty nice in here. There's a lot of places to put the bibby down. I thought that was like a shelter over there, but can't tell. Well, we just obtained some water from a puddle, which is like proper survival. We've got filters and all that. And that's what it looked like. Yeah, it'll get boiled up. These are good. All works. I think we should go back to camp and probably set camp up or something. Yeah. All right. Well, we're cooking food. I've got gadgets on charge with weather power bank. We're going to go and have a look at his setup. Right, I'm going to see my water's boiled. We'll get in the, the first boil because I'm boiling water for the cup of tea first I might have to turn the gas up it's really nice in these woods and we've only really walked around a very small bit of the woods. The wood is like massive, it is. Right, I've got my Chinese rice starting to boil. And when it's boiled enough, I'm going to put the mackerel in it and eat it.
Right, I've got my food ready. But it's starting to slightly get dark. I wonder if he's going to show what he's got. It's starting to slightly get dark, so we're going to set bivvies up soon. Yeah. I think he's got noodles. Noodles, pepperoni, tomato soup. And there's pheasants making noise, so I hope there's no one around, but... Anyway, I'll bring you back soon. Right, I've got my snug pack stratosphere set up because we're still camping I really need to keep the light down so I'm going to switch back to red and I forgot to put a peg in what I need to again I know you can't see much, we're going to go see Ian's tent. Oh, you got it. Got it sorted out. Yeah. It's got little reflective things on it. It's showing up in my red light. Oh, my bike, everything on my bike shows up. That's why I'm going to hide them, in the, put them in the bivvy in a bit. Yeah, yeah. The uh, little bivvy tent and then I'm going to... We'll have a look in the morning. Stick a bivvy in the bottom there and blow my sleeping bag. I can go into bed and make it early. Could have a... I think I've got my, well, it's a bit silly walking around with torches. I've got my free night torch on me. Yeah. Can't really see nothing on the camera, so. So it could be an early bed because it's pretty damn cold, but. I need to get my other coat out while I want to wear it. Can't really see much. Right, it's a bit early to go to bed, so we're just hanging out, talking. And I put my candle lantern on for a bit of light, like, so we don't waste batteries and stuff. We'll probably end up going to bed soon, though. Even though it's, like, really, really early. Since I normally go to bed about half ten or something. The thing is, when you're real stuff camping, it's actually not that exciting. And a lot of these people have, you know, they chop wood, chop logs up, like making loads of noise, and they have fires. That's not genuine stuff camping, because... If there's anyone around, they're going to flip in here, that. And we're back whenever. Might be in the morning. Right, we're packed up and getting ready to go. So we're going to go up there and make a cup of tea then, yeah. or have coffee rather. Yeah, so we um, head out onto that track and then back down towards the road. Yeah. Right, so we're going to get out of the woods, but I'll make a drink near the way out. Well, we're just making one last cup of coffee before we go our separate ways.
Right, we just finished our drinks and that. Having a bit of whatever we've got for breakfast and we're gonna go your separate ways and uh, anyway it's been good yeah another good bv a long night but a successful one yeah it's definitely been a long night going to bed flipping early yeah i hope some other people should give this a try yeah anyway I'll bring you back whenever, which will probably be down in the River Trent or somewhere. Right, bye for now. See ya. Right, I'm alongside the River Trent. I'm on my way home. I just stopped for a coke at the Beeston Marina. It finally started raining. Yeah, I was getting pretty tired, so I, you know, I stopped for a coke and filled my water bottles up in the toilet. I was tempted to stop for some food, but I'll have someone to get home. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and it's well. It'll all be in one video, not split into parts. And just, you know, leave a comment and thank you for watching. I enjoy getting out and making these videos. So, I hope you enjoy them too. Bye for now. So much rain. I thought it was going to stop raining, but... It's just carrying on, it is. Oh, I'm pretty tired. I can't wait to get some nice food.